Welcome back, everybody. This is Michael Deveres from Juriscue.com. We bring you various attorneys in different states, practice areas to talk about what they do and answer our viewers' question and clarify many topics. And today, we welcome back Steven Zielinski from the law office of Herbert Lawrence in New Jersey, very experienced, seasoned personal injury attorneys dealing with car accidents, slip and falls, and all other types of personal injury. Stephen, welcome back. Thank you, Michael. Uh, I want to talk I, today about that. No, I'm sorry, I got it. Yeah, today I want to talk about uh, the ultimate uh, price one can pay in a car accident. Uh, it's tragic, unfortunately it does happen. Uh, a death, death of a um, either a driver or passenger, or maybe even pedestrian when involved in a car accident. Can you please tell us what's involved? And then ultimately, if there is an award, what happens with that monetary award? Who gets that compensation? Please, the floor is yours, Stephen. Thank you, Michael. Wrongful death in New Jersey. Sometimes it's called a survival action. There are two separate types of actions in the state of New Jersey when someone uh, dies as a result of an accident. I'll explain both and what happens with each. It's unfortunate, but people do die as a result of injuries sustained from somebody else's carelessness and negligence. A lot of times that happens in motor vehicle accidents, but it also uh, happens in terms of uh, slip and falls when someone may hit their head and have to have a cranial injury or something of that nature. And then what happens is once the person is deceased, uh, the thought comes to how did the accident happen? Whose fault was the accident? And is there anybody there that's uh, able to compensate the family or the survivors for what the uh, person who is deceased would have been as the breadwinner? Well, those are the questions that arise right. in a wrongful death case, right? They call it a wrongful death statute. That's a case where you have to file an act. You have to go to court as the representative of the person who died. You got to go to the surrogate's court okay. and become appointed as what they call an administrator and prosequendum. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's an appointment by the court for that wife or child, or uh, son, or daughter, or uncle, or other relative, or even an attorney, to step into the place of the person that is no longer alive, and to file a claim with the court. Well, what happens is, in a wrongful death case, it's like any other personal injury case, we get into the investigation of the facts, we, get, we gather the evidence, we right. contact the witnesses of, who, who may have been involved, we procure all the medical and other expenses and details of the medical records. And then we make a determination if that other party, whether it be a driver of a vehicle or somebody who owns some property that may have been careless and leaving a big hole or slippery surface where that person may have fallen. And then we process the case like any other personal injury case. Uh, and that's in particularly, that particularly important because the person is lo no longer here. They're deceased. They can't tell us what happened. So a lot of the stuff is necessarily procured through circumstantial evidence. That is through police reports, witness statements, photographs, even expert witnesses that have to be hired to determine how the accident happened and whose fault it was that this person became deceased as a result of the accident. That's an expensive process and it's very complicated. And it's usually done by a personal injury attorney or his staff, because that's all we do mm -hmm. in our business. Right. Well, anybody that takes a, a wrongful death case uh, as an attorney understands that the person who died may have sustained some pain and suffering during the period involving the accident and the death. So during that period of time, all of those uh, elements come into play as far as how much the case may be worth in terms of settlement value. 
And that takes into consideration the injury, the nature of the injury to that person, whether it be fractures or some kind of other uh, traumatically con uh, induced injury, the the suffering that person went through, the medical bills, and you know the other aspects of the case, uh, the fact that they quit, they lost wages or something of that nature, that comes into play for the benefit of this the heirs of that person. If they had a will, the will will specify who gets what, if any, out of that particular settlement. There's another thing called the survival action. Now, the survival action includes the same basic elements, but that determines how much that person would have earned over the course of their remaining lifetime. And those kind of the lost wages come into play, the amount of care it would have been taken to, to, to take care of that person. And it, 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 it's a separate kind of a claim, but it, it falls within the same wrongful death uh, theory that's set forth in our statute. They're two separate items, though. So that's basically what happens in a wrongful death suit. Uh, and the, the heirs and the beneficiaries uh, will benefit uh, if there is a recovery. If there is no recovery, then they, they don't get anything. Right. It may be that the person that died caused his own injury or her own injury. So if that happens, the court will not or the settlement won't happen. And then there will That's be no reasonable. money. But if they were caused to uh, become injured as a result of the careless operation of a vehicle or a sloppily maintained piece of property, then there will be a recovery most likely. And the recovery will depend on the circumstances of the injury and the nature of the accident. I hope that helps explain what the term wrongful death means. Yes, Stephen, thank you so much. Um, it is uh, very tragic when the death occurs as a result of a car accident, but the heirs, like you said, they want to get compensated for not only a loss of companionship, but a loss of a uh, possible breadwinner. And all that could, could be taken into account when calculating and settling or prosecuting a claim for wrongful death in a car accident. Uh, Stephen, thank you so much for clarifying all the points on uh, such a case. We appreciate your time. And thank you, everybody, for watching our informative videos. And they're meant to be informative, to give you food for thought, to give you general information. But of course, if you were involved in a car accident, you should call an attorney, tell the attorney the specifics of your case. And of course, uh, like uh, Stephen always says, be very open with your attorney about what happened so attorney can make proper determination on your case. The phone number of uh, the law office of Herbert Lawrence is on the bottom of the screen. Please do not hesitate to call. The consultation is free. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Take care. Thank you. Thanks, bye.